If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these red Tyler boy converse into these Spider-Man themed boy dazzle and spiked converse, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube. So today I have two pair of red converse. These are Tyler size boy, really unisex, but these are going to be for a boy, two boys. This is my first time embellishing shoes for a boy and I'm really excited about it. So um, it's his birthday coming up. His mom told me that he's like into Spider-Man. She sent me a picture of like an inspo photo of what to go from. So what I did in the photo, I analyzed it. It had um, spikes on it and it had some Spider-Man patches. So I'm like, okay, cool. On the photo, they added like some black fabric and some blue fabric. She said that wasn't necessary. So I'm just gonna go with the red. And I have these really cool Spider-Man patches that I ordered off Amazon. And they have all these cool Spider-Man poses. There's different sizes. Um, this one's like too big, but there's just so much to choose from here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pick one to add on to the side of the shoe. I'm using now, these studs here, spikes. These are combed spikes. I ordered these off Amazon. She also told me that she would like to have some boy dazzle. So dazzle means rhinestones. Well, in my interpretation, yes, rhinestones. So I told her I was glad that she told me that I can go ahead and put rhinestones because I wouldn't have thought to add rhinestones to a boy's shoe. But I'm glad she did. I'm not gonna go overboard. I'm just gonna add a little bit of black and blue and red to kind of keep the Spider-Man colors going. And I'm not saying that rhinestones are just for girls. I'm not saying that. Because when you think about it, there's like some really nice men Louboutin, red bottoms, uh, Gucci shoes that are just Swarovski crystalled out, you know. And everybody has their different ideas of what style or what blinginess or glitterness. So glitter and bling can be unisex. So anyway, I have a size 10C toddler shoe. I'm not going to record myself doing both. Um, and I have an 11C toddler shoe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by wiping the shoe down with some 70% alcohol. I always like to do that just in case there's anything on the shoe that will prevent the shoe from having what I'm putting on its stick. Okay. Now, when I'm adding embellishments, I stopped using E6000. What I will say is I use liquid fusion to add rhinestones onto my projects because it's not toxic. Even though E6000 is toxic and you may want to crack a window, you shouldn't throw it away because there are certain projects that you will need this E6000 that when I had for. to embellish some Crocs. E6000 for me worked a lot better on rubber than it did, um, than Liquid Fusion did. So you don't wanna necessarily throw this out. There's also other projects that you'll need to glue things together and you will need this. Just be cautious because it is toxic. Okay, so I will be using these, this E6000 to add on um, the patches. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to take out the shoe. Okay, so first. the alcohol has dried. I have went ahead and wiped the shoe off really good. First thing first, I am going to start adding the spikes. I wanna have this wax pen I'm gonna use for the rhinestones. I'm gonna see how it works for the, the, the combed spikes. So far I was able to pick one up, but if not, I'll just have to pick them up with my hand. But this may work as well. So just watch me go ahead and add the spikes on. Finish the toe on the other shoe. I have it in front of a fan drying. I'm gonna show it to you 
but I decided to go in between because there were some spaces I decided to go in, in between any little extra small area that I can't fit any small extra area that I cannot fit a stud to go ahead and put a three millimeter hematite rhinestone in that area so I'll go these are eight millimeter right cone studs so look in between there would have been just some white spaces that I wasn't really digging so I decided on those little extra spaces where I could fit anything I went in with some hematite three millimeter and I just like the way it looks a lot better than just the white spaces so that's just that and I'm just gonna continue to go ahead and add the cones to the toe of the other shoe so just go ahead and keep watching. pack of 100 cones was about eight bucks off Amazon and you get 100. So I'm gonna see how far this can get me. I did order more. I thought I could go into home, um, I thought I could go into Michaels or one of those stores or Walmart. I didn't see any to just buy and just have them right away. So I ordered more on Amazon. Hopefully they'll be here tomorrow. But I'm gonna just see how far this 100 gets me. And I'll count and tell you how many I used on the toe of this shoe in just a second. So far, this little pick-me-up stick is picking up these cones, which is so helpful. And I want to get them as close as possible. And I just give it a firm press with my finger to make sure it's as flat and flush with the shoe as I can get it. So I use 17. Um, I use 17 spikes on here. 17 spikes on this 10C toddler sized um, shoe. So the toe area. That's how many I used. I'm already at 14. I'm already at 14 right here, so I can fit three more in this area right there. And and like I said, in between. I'll add as many three millimeter hematite rhinestones as possible. This E6000 can be pretty messy. I usually put my glues in a, um, a precision tip um, glue bottle. I'm not even sure if that would work in there. I could try it later, but I don't need it to be very little pouring out now for these big cones. So I'll just keep going as I'm going. So in those little white areas, what I'm going to do is add the three millimeter hematite. I do need this to be going in some of these areas but I'll just start with the areas that have the exposed glue like okay like right here in this area Okay, so now that I have completed the toe area with the cones, I've decided to go a little trim up this area with red rhinestones, keeping the whole Spider-Man theme and color going. And like I said, I didn't want to overdo it. So I just went ahead and trimmed this area with a four millimeter red rhinestone. So that's what I'm doing here. And this area, I decided to use a blue rhinestone, four millimeter as well. So 
I'm just gonna carefully go up this line, just kind of trace it out and add the blue rhinestones here to tie in the whole Spider-Man look. Now in the back, you see I've already added some nice big globs of E6000 glue. And what I'm doing here is adding five studs up the back. I'm gonna do five of them. I tried to space them out nice and evenly. And my hand is in the way a little bit, so I do apologize for that. So when you add the rhinestones up the back, just make sure that you add a little pressure and make sure it's completely flush and flat with the shoe. Now I'm gonna take the E6000 and go in between these cone studs because I'm going to add some red and blue rhinestones in between that area, just to give it a little more dazzle. Okay, so now I've decided that I wanna go around the little converse area right here where you see the Converse um, logo. I'm just gonna trim, trim this area with some four millimeter blue rhinestones right around this just to make that little area pop. And then the shoe is pretty much almost finished. Now, what you see me doing here is trying to figure out exactly which patches I want to add. I had so many to choose from, but they were really, really big. So there were only a few I could choose from because the shoe was pretty small. So I'm just trying to see which ones look good um, because I'll need to use four of these and they won't all be the same, they'll be different. So once I decided which ones I wanted to use, I added the E6000 glue to the middle of the patch. I added it to the middle because along the outer edge, I'm going to use a different glue that dries a lot quicker. And I'll be showing you that in just a second, right here. It's called Rapid Fuse. It's a little blurry, just give it a second. Okay, Rapid Fuse. It dries in like 30 seconds. So I had to put that on there, hold that down and bam. Okay, and here is the final finished result. And my, my goodness, you guys, let me just tell you, I, really 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 like these shoes and as you look at them you can check them out this is the first pair this is a size 10c and they ended up being for two little boys they were brothers one was his birthday second birthday and then the other one is three years old and they both had matching shoes and they were just the cutest most adorable little guys in these shoes so I really enjoyed doing these shoes because like I said, it's my first time doing a shoe for a little boy. I wasn't exactly sure what direction to take, but once the mom said, yeah, go ahead and add a little bit of dazzle, I knew just the perfect amount to add and I really think I didn't overdo it. I think I did just enough. I really do like it. And you know, there's a lot of people who have sons that like Spider-Man. Daughters too, I'm sure, but a lot of little boys like Spider-Man. So if you're ever thinking about how you want to design your son's shoe or your grandson's shoe or nephew, whoever shoe, consider these cute little patches, consider the little boy dazzle, and consider these spikes. These spikes are so cute. They turned out really nice. I like how I was able to kind of space them out and still add a couple little bit of the rhinestones in between so it's not so much spacing. But you guys, let me know what you guys think. I, I really, I'm really proud of these. I really am. This is just the shoes from a different angle. Now, also, I will say that the, the DAP glue was amazing because at first, because I did all the shoes first and I just showed you me doing the one shoe. I was having a hard time getting the E6000 to like really hold. It doesn't dry like that quick. E6000, E6000 takes some time to dry. So consider using a quicker cold super glue if you're gonna do something like this and use the E6000. Sometimes you have to use two different glues for certain projects, but thanks you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Send this over to a mom or someone who likes Spider-Man or her son likes Spider-Man. Share it on Facebook if you'd like to. 
subscribe. If not, that's fine. I don't put anyone under pressure to subscribe to this channel. I don't. But I do appreciate you for stopping by. All right, thanks again. Bye-bye.